travel between Singapore and Malaysia could resume soon, uh, although Putrajaya has signaled that it needs to be reciprocal. We understand that uh, foreign ministries are in talk with each other. Is there a timeline for this to happen? I would hesitate to put a timeline. Maybe what I can express it is in terms of what our key considerations are. Number one, public health. We need to protect the public health of both Singapore and Malaysia. And we need to understand that the world's busiest land crossing is between Johor and Singapore. This is the world's busiest land crossing. So we have to work out a lot of details, testing, tracing, supporting the economy. At the same time, as I mentioned earlier, we have kept the supply chains open throughout this crisis and we've got to keep that going. So to be frank with you, right now, literally, you know, we are phone calls and the, the, the papers and phone calls being exchanged, uh, which we're trying to sort it out. Are we talking about weeks or months? Uh, I would prefer, the sooner we can arrive at some agreement, but the agreement is likely to take a step-by-step -step approach. So we, I do not see it possible to have a big bang complete, no holds barred, no restrictions, no tests. I think that would be unwise. But we can open up in steps, have the appropriate measures to test people, contact trace people, because when you open up, your risk will inevitably increase. And we have to work out those protocols and to make sure those protocols are effective on both sides of the causeway. So just, just give, us some, give us a few, I would say, days to weeks.